Hey, 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 what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the neighborhood. I am John, your favorite neighbor kid, and I'm coming back again to play a little bit more Starbound Fracking Universe today. Uh, just an odd situation. Uh, I loaded it up today, and uh, they had the change log up again, and it was still 6.4.1. So I'm not exactly sure what the deal with that is, but, you know, uh, we're here, and uh, we'll play through it, and we'll figure it out. I don't think there's any actual changes. I just think maybe a, a tiny glitch about how uh, the change log tends to come up now. Ooh, looks like we got some uh, stuff growing here, which is great. That's a uh, it's a good start for everything. Um, I'm gonna we're gonna look into we're gonna change you know we're gonna continue where we uh, left off last time as of as always um, or as most of the time I guess because bet between what two and three we had an issue, um, but today we are going to it's gonna be a little bit of a shorter episode. Uh, mostly just due to time constraints, and that's just kind of the unfortunate thing lately, and I think next week might be trouble too. We'll see. Um, let's see. The extractor! Okay, you have a hand mill or extraction lab, I'm not sure what to do with it. It's simple, really. I'm put some logs, so I think we... That was our... I forgot to write a note for myself. Ugh! Why did I forget to write a note for myself? That's terrible. Alright, let's... Uh, I didn't... I thought we did this already. Oh, it's by twos. All right. Two by two by two. It's nice. Okay, so there's that uh, query alchemy table. Let's see. I can't remember where we were with respect to our uh, our uh, ax large axolotl looking friend. Uh, so might be a little bit of floundering here as per usual, um, but we might want to do some watering up here, of course. I want to look into some more resources just to get ourselves... Uh, oh, hey. Potatoes. Alright, beautiful. Um, I will not grab the pearl peas right now, again, because we don't need them at the moment. I will water things. Actually, I don't even know if I want to... Well, it's happening. Um, what's the size of those? Is that four? Or six, I mean? Let's see here. So are, the pl platforms are interesting in that they're blocks, but they're, they're, you, you can only place them in, in sets of one. Yeah, it looks like there's six wide. Okay, six wide, and they occupy two tall. So we need three per placed object. It's three, three, and we can do one on the top. I think this is actually the perfect size for uh, putting down some troughs in here. I think I want to design the area a little bit better for doing that. Or actually decide whether or not we're just going to have these outside and have this be part of our established area. Our established uh, uh, living area. Again. I'm going to do this. In our water barrel. Move along here. Cool, cool. Take a look at how our hand mill is progressing. All right, that is... Wait a second, what? Was I looking at... Com completed. Damn it. All the hell and back. See, that's a problem. That's a problem. Don't do that. Don't look at the things that you're already done. I was like, I thought I already did this. Well, I did. Hey, how about that? Uh, let's see. Livestock... Mac and you, incubation, we're not going to do that yet. Silicon, sand, that's right. And I believe it was Pendragon who, who mentioned that you will be able to find some sand in that, in that cave area. So we might want to go back and do some hunting. Oh, Duke. Oh, Duke. There we go. Deal with. I bet our armor is helping out quite a bit, actually. Yeah, a little bit of extra damage there. Helpful.
Don't mind me. Yeah, how much damage did we do before? I would... I, I don't know how much I actually want to check. But I think it took more than two shots, for the most part. So let's, let's do a little spelunking. I don't know what that was. Oh, I turned off flashlight. That's what it was. Okay, cool. Excellent. Good miss. Good hot miss. So, uh, let's get some of our own lights out in this area. We need increased range. I will press the wrong button. Yes, indeedy. As per usual. And you, same deal. It's more than a nice lights. As opposed to these crappy lights. All right. We can preempt a little bit here. Aha! Two can play that game. There we are, beautiful. That is a pretty good shot, actually. Hello, friendo. Ah, hell. Good miss, good miss. There we go. She's holding him at bay. I'm, I feel like I'm doing better, a little bit better with the uh, aim this time. It's not gonna stay this way. I will say that right now. I'm just gonna tell you. Not a thing that, that remains over time, usually. My ability to shoot stuff. Ooh, these guys are hardy. They hardy. Ooh. Research data. Very nice. That's fun. I don't... This isn't just a... It is. It is a use item. I... That's a nice little... Uh, especially at the early game, that's a really nice thing. What I need, what I need out of video games a lot more is, uh, I need them to develop in such a way that when you get to a different phase, like a higher phase of the game, the things that you used to do are still useful. And maybe there are other ways to get them or like get other items or, or the fact that you can like, I don't know, I had this idea for like, hey, you know, what, what if there's this this single, like, uh, a game where you you do spelunking? Oh, that's good. Spelunking and, and the like. Uh, and you get equipment for yourself? Oh, hell. Get equipment for yourself, but, uh... Uh, eventually it gets to be, like, kind of a bigger deal, and then you can actually have hirelings and stuff, but the hirelings, you can, ha you can give them equipment, too. Um, or that sort of thing. Like, you know, you can use your old equipment to equip your new people and you have, you get like a band of people and I don't know if there's a, even, a, even things like where it ends up games ending up having different kind of later game gameplay styles, like where you get, you go from, you know, on foot kind of moving around to, I don't know, some sort of weird RTS sort of situation, being able to yeah equip people like that or a oh, hell. It was just a bad idea. And once again, I did I did it right there. What am I thinking? Okay, so this is not sand. Um, but it looks like there's something on the other side here. More bad things. Okay, so let's, I guess, collapse this on everyone. Yeah, get collapsed upon. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a problem. That is a problem. All right, let's cut this down. So as to give ourselves an easy out. Let's do that. There we go. Getting the hang of this aiming thing, I feel. Maybe just being calm is helpful. He said missing. That's nice. We're now we're getting too much too much food. I don't know, but but yeah, like uh having a situation where like uh uh like, you know, in this, for materials, you don't get a lot of gold. Or, like, you don't you don't find a lot of go use for gold or iron necessarily later on. Uh, so, 
having a situation where maybe to produce the higher higher kind of materials you do end up needing the older stuff i think factorio actually has kind of this situation just because you kind of have to build things up now i will say that it does tend to you know detract from having different gameplay styles if you do this be, if, if, the, if you're working with this kind of game because Factorio very much is entirely based on, you know, it's less about the, the fighting the enemies necessarily and a lot more about building the stuff to fight the enemies. Uh, and that's, I don't know. Uh, you, you have to, you, you can craft stuff yourself, which is, which is cool, but, you know, you can't craft everything yourself and it does get, there is a point where you do have to break things down or like you you have to start you know automating stuff which feels pretty cool i'm gonna admit but i don't know and, and factorio does have different gameplay styles uh later too which with respect to you know are you using rails are you gonna use are you gonna use uh drones are you gonna use you know what what kind of uh transportation system you're using that sort of thing I feel like I'm missing a very important one. All right, get out of here. Oh, hell. This is going to be a problem. Now, critical hits, are those random? They must be. Get out of here. Thank goodness for the auto crossbow. Well, semi auto crossbow, I guess. Damn it! All right, there we go. Just flubbing it real good there for a little bit. Aha! Don't want to deal with your junk. Get out of here! Ouch! Beautiful. Okay. Uh, that I think is also silt. Beautiful. Grab all that. I'm hearing the singing. All right. A lot of, a lot of good stuff here. Wow, just a whole pile of junk. Using creation of better tech, tech cards are valuable finds that you should save for when you need to jump higher or dash farther, or tuck into tiny little spheres to get into holes. I think get into small places. Is that what it said? I don't know. Jesus, look at that. That's great. Okay. A lot of materials in here. Let's get things properly lit up. Just going to ransack this junk here. We're doing pretty well for... Um... Yeah, we cleared out all this. As such, let's further clear things out. Always good to have them resources, you know? Beautiful. Resources and containers, baby. That's what I'm about. Be a lot easier for me to just hit it with a weapon. Okay, uh, let's take a look at our fo food situation. Uh, what is going to go soon? Let's let's get rid of some of our singles. All right, so we're down to our charred steak and our dumpling here. Meat dumpling. Oh, beautiful. Oh man, what? I have, don't think I've ever seen that before. That was fun. I like that. That was good. I'm using the hell out of these supports. He said, not entirely knowing if that's true. I'd like to. They're they're a good resource to have. They're fun little accents. Interesting little bits of things that you can do. 
Ah, friendo. Goodness. Okay. Huh? Come on, friendo. Let's see, how's that? Not much better. Oh, hell. Well, don't run with it. That's a terrible idea. Alright. This is always is gonna be pretty fun here. Yeah, might as well use something that we can hit them all with. At the same time. Okay. That worked out. Grab all this junk. Good. Grab all the containers. Hot balls. Goodness. Goodness. Okay, this is the wrong direction to travel in. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Might be able to make this shot. Well, there we can. There we go. Oh, there was garbage. I love the giant eyes they get when you stab them. Oh, hey, friendo. Oh, man. Ha! Right before you shot me. And we got a hardened carapace out of that deal. Very nice. Yeah, again, this uh, early game stuff is really, like, you know, actually getting things is really rewarding at this point. You know, like, hardened carapace, normally I'm just like, whatever. I will also say that, like, that kind of idea where, you know, using stuff at a later time can make things a lot more complicated, especially in a game like this where you have a lot of resources. Like... You know, but I don't know. I, I'm really, I'm really big fan of the whole like, kind of like upgrading sort of situation where you have a piece of like a, an earlier piece of equipment is required to make a later piece of equipment sort of thing. To make having made that piece of equipment a reasonable choice, you know. I mean, it's not how it necessarily works in real life, but. Oh, man. Come on, now. Yeah, but it, it doesn't always work like that in real life unless it's kind of like, oh, you're making something that's modified. But still, I don't know. It, it does lend... Like, there's so much in this game where it's like, I, you know, you, you almost have too much choice. Which isn't always a bad thing. Like, giving people choice and making them kind of think they have choice, that's that's sort of a different thing, too. I don't know. It can be nice, though. It can be very nice. Yeah, I'm not... Like, this is all... This is more silt stuff, right? Yeah. Loose silt! And this start heading back pretty soon, actually, here. Another metal barrel. This. Get those crates. I'm just kind of clearing things out so that I more or less have a good idea of... I mean, I, I lit the place up, but having a nice idea of where I need to come back to or where I left off would be really good. Alright, that's not the way up. Is it? No, that is the way up. So let's grab some doors. Let's get some doors. Never hit. Railings? Sure. Sorry, pipe fence. Is this the way up? Yeah, it is. Alright. Probably a good time. I think this is... Is that sunrise or sunset? Nice. Man, come on now. I 
Oh, that's just unlucky. There we go. All right, and this guy's friendly, so we'll leave him alone. That's, uh, I do like that that there is wildlife that is not, you know, straight up hostile all the time. Ah, oh, yeah! Look, look at this go. Getting all of the stuff growing. Good. Love that. Love that automation, baby. Okay, cool. All right, alchemy table. What is required for an alchemy table? Probably stuff that I don't have. And not here. It's going to be here. I think. Oh, do I have to research it yet? Active. Okay, cool. Sand, right. Obviously. Tink uh, tinkering to tinkering table and see what is required for that. All right, glass, right, 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 right. And we're not gonna be able to get any of that. Not with what we have. Let's take a look again, I've, I've already forgotten. What will get us sand as an output? Ah, literally any stone. That makes a lot of sense. Not at any great... Really? Not at any great... Um... Amount, but... We also don't have a lot of stone to use right now. Or a lot of time for at that instance. Actually, this is... <laughs> unfortunately, where I'm going to break it off. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to do a uh, longer episode next time and work things out. Again, I want to thank everybody for coming to hang out. It's always a good time. Um, and I really do appreciate everybody commenting. I do uh, I do read them as best I can. Uh, I don't always reply. That may not, you know, it may never be the case. Uh, and I really do appreciate them. So um, uh, it, it can be very helpful. And again, if you do comment and you want uh, uh, if you don't mind a shout out, you don't mind me using your name, just let me know. Um, and I'll try to keep that in mind. <laughs> Pendragon's an old, old commenter, so, well, a uh, long-time commenter, we'll say. So, that's the thing, but uh, I might not remember off the top of my head, so keep kind of posting that. Anyway, uh, uh, you know, thank you all for coming to hang out. Uh, if you want to support me, if you want to support the channel, you know how to do that here on YouTube. It's like, comment, subscribe. That's pretty simple, straightforward stuff. Other non-monetary ways you can help out. You can uh, come hang out on Twitch on the weekends. I'm, uh, I do a lot of streaming uh, Saturday, Sunday. If I can manage any reasonable times, I will, I will do that. Um, even if they're not at the same time. Uh, or you can come hang out on the Discord, chat with me, chat with the rest of the neighbor kids. Always good to have new people over there as well. Um, uh but other ways you can help out, just watching is fantastic. And hey, I don't really do any advertisement, so tell your friends, tell your family, shout my you know channel name out, tell people about me on the bus, shout me on the streets, post on social media. That would be amazing. Um, uh, that sort of thing, you know, that all of that's really helpful. But literally everything you do does help, up to and including watching. So thank you so much for checking out the video today. Oh. And you can find links for all that stuff down in the about section or, or down in the description or in the about section. <laughs> anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching the video today. From my house to yours, I am John the Neighbor Kid, and I will see you folks next time. Bye bye now.